So for the Make Code Minute today, what I wanted to do is show how you can use a pair of Circuit Playgrounds uh, with their infrared uh, ability to send and receive messages to each other along with USB HID keyboard emulation so that we can have essentially a remote control for a keyboard. You'll notice here in the simulator if I press a button when I'm using this network infrared, it's right here, network infrared send and receive, then we get a second circuit playground that shows up. And when I press a button on one, you'll see the other one lights up the same corresponding button. Uh, in this simulator, you can also see uh, these messages being sent and received uh, inside of the console. And what it's doing when it sends, or rather when it receives, if it receives a, essentially the A button, which is indicated by a zero being sent, or the B button, which is indicated by a one being sent right here, then we're going to use this keyboard type A or keyboard type B that comes from this keyboard extension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to an overhead cam here. And you can see I'm just typing into a little ASCII art generator so you can see it nice and big. And here is one circuit playground. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll press a button on that. And you can see a B just showed up on the screen. I'll press it again. Another B just showed up. I don't have a lot of room there. Uh, and I'll, let me backspace some. And now when I press an, the A, we'll get A buttons showing up. So this is a way that you can use the infrared send and receive uh, to do something kind of sophisticated, which is create essentially a remote control for, could be media keys like uh, pause and, and play for songs. It can be arrow keys. It could be joystick input and pretty much any key you want to type. And so that uh, is how you can use a couple of Circuit Playground Express boards inside of Make Code to create an infrared remote keyboard. And that is your Make Code Minute. Thank <laughs> you.